On the Super Review, let's take a look at the BenQ Screen Bar Plus LED e-reading task lamp. All right, that's a pretty long ass name, but essentially what we got here is a desk lamp. This is a pretty unique style for a desk lamp that I'm actually pretty interested in. So I recently moved to a part of the office that's a little dimly lit and I need some lighting for my space, but I don't really want to take up a lot of desk space with a lamp. So something like this might actually do the trick. So the BenQ Screen Bar Plus sits on your monitor and it lights your desk from above, which actually seems like a pretty interesting solution for my particular situation. It's also got a little dial for brightness adjustments. It's got uh, color temperature adjustments as well. And it's got some also some like auto dimming functions, which I think are pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and open it up. We'll see what you get inside the box. And then I'll let you know, how is the BenQ Screen Bar Plus? All right, I can't actually spin this on the desk, so you'll just have to be satisfied with that. But here we got the BenQ Screen Bar Plus e-reading lamp. It's got a really long name. Got a pretty bad name, frankly, but hopefully this product is actually gonna serve my purposes. So just doing a quick tour of the box before we open it up. Right off the bat, we know that this thing is USB powered, which I'm excited about because a lot of monitors have USB ports on them. And if I can just plug this directly into my monitor and power it off of that without having any other additional cables running off my desk, that'll be pretty nice. The Screen Bar Plus is a dimmable lamp. It's got this little dial that makes it dimmable. But what makes it additionally interesting is that it's got a light sensor and it can auto dim itself. And now I understand that that feature is an option. You can enable it or disable it depending on your particular use case, but I think that's pretty cool. And then the last main feature of the Screen Bar Plus is that you can change the color temperature. So if you like a warm light, you can change it to a warm light. If you like a cool light, you can change it to a cool light. And just for my like personal tastes, I actually at home, I like changing my lights from warm to cool depending on the time of day. You know, in the evenings when I'm kind of winding down for the day, I like to have a warm light. Whereas during the day, especially in the mornings when I need to wake up, a cool light is pretty nice. Here in the back of the box, it's just kind of describing how this thing fits onto the back of your monitor, which is, okay, that's interesting, but I don't need to know that at this point. Let's go ahead and open it up. We'll find out what we get inside the box of the Screen Bar Plus. All right, so we got the BenQ screen bar out of the box. And what do you get? You do get not a lot of paperwork. I, this looks like a registration card of some sort. Very minimal instructions. Um, and if that's all the instruction I need, frankly, I'm happy. Over here, you've got the mount for the screen bar, the light bar, the lamp, whatever you want to call this thing. And this thing has actually got some pretty significant heft to it. You probably can't really tell here on the camera, but that is surprisingly heavy. So this is gonna rest on the back of your, or on the top of the monitor, and this counterweight essentially will hold it in place. You get the dial right here, which has got a pretty lengthy micro USB cable, as well as just a regular USB-A cable. So I think that, yeah, so the micro USB is gonna plug into the bottom of the screen bar, and then the USB-A cable is gonna plug into your power source, which in my case is hopefully my monitor. Over here we got the dial, which has got a pretty good click action on it. You know, the, the dial is not 100% rock steady, but that is a pretty good feeling dial. Got pretty good feeling buttons, and then this thing has also got a decent weight to it. It's not as heavy as this is, but it's got a decent weight to it, and it's got a rubberized finish on the bottom so that hopefully this thing will stay in place as you're changing the dials and it's not shifting around your desk. I think that that will actually be pretty good. And then we come to the light bar itself, which is just a long light bar with a bunch of LEDs inside of it. And this thing measures about 17, 18 inches in length. Just for context, if you're looking to hang this on your monitor and you got a tiny monitor, you'll want something that's at least 17 inches long. Actually, you know what? Frankly, it'll probably look good anyway. So yeah, sitting here on the table, looks like a pretty handsome lamp, but frankly, I'm not gonna be able to tell much about it until I start using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up to my monitor um, and I'll test it out for a little bit. I'll live with the 
BenQ screen bar plus, whatever you wanna call this thing. I'll live with it for a while and I'll come back and I'll let you know. Is this a good solution for folks like me? All right, let's talk about the BenQ screen bar. And this is gonna be pretty quick because I don't have a lot to say. It's a, it's a lamp, it makes light. And it does it pretty well, I like it. Let's talk about the form of it. I love that it sits on top of a monitor and doesn't take up any desk space. In my office space, you know, I, I, I had this area that was just, it was just dark and kind of uncomfortable to work in. And the brightness of my monitor was just so much contrast that it felt, I don't know, it felt like kind of a strain. And putting this lamp on top of my monitor has actually significantly improved the way that I just feel about that workspace. I love the way the light feels. And part of that is because I can adjust the brightness, which is great. And I can adjust the color temperature to exactly the color temperature I like, which is also great. So the one thing to call out though real quick with the brightness adjustment is I was actually kind of surprised at how little variance there is in the brightness, which is to say like it, it gets plenty bright, but it doesn't really get that dim. If you have sort of a, a dimly lit space that you wanna use this for, it might even at its dimmest setting not be dim enough. Another thing that's interesting about the BenQ screen bar that I'm not so sure about is that it has this auto dimming function, which seems pretty smart, but at least in my particular situation, like the light conditions are not changing throughout the day. So this, this auto dimming function is supposed to measure the surrounding light and somehow give you the correct amount of brightness. But for me, I, it seems like it seems wasted on me. Um, I'm in an office space. The lighting is basically the same no matter what time of day, nothing's really changing. So for me, that's a bit of a waste. That said, I do like having that dial to be able to set my brightness and color temperature really easily. But then again, like the, the brightness and color adjustment is a thing that I did once when I set up the lamp and I'm not really touching it on a day-to-day -to -day basis. It, it's fine where it's at. I don't need to adjust it. Which brings me to my one actual big complaint about the BenQ screen bar, okay? I love the form factor. I love that it powers off my monitor so I don't have to have a cable plugging into a wall. I love the dial. I kind of love everything about it. Um, I love what it's done for my workspace. What I don't really love is the price. The thing costs 130 bucks, which it seems like a lot for a lamp. It seems like a lot for a relatively simple LED lamp. Now, BenQ does actually offer another version of the screen bar that doesn't have that dial control, and it's 30 bucks cheaper which is kind of tempting because like I just said, I'm, I'm not gonna be using that dial on a day-to-day -day basis to adjust my lighting because in my case, my conditions don't change. The one thing where I do think I would miss having that dial is that you can use the dial to turn the light on and off. When I leave the office for the end of the day, I turn off the light. When I get back in, I turn it on and I don't have to touch the screen bar itself. And, and that's kind of important for me just because it means I don't have to like fiddle with the thing that's resting on top of my monitor. When the, when the screen bar is on your monitor, it's just kind of sitting there. You can get it in the right position. You never have to touch it, not a problem. But if you don't have that dial and you're constantly having to reach up there and turn it on by hand, it could be a bit of a nuisance. Is that a $30 nuisance? I don't know. I don't know. That's a decision you don't have to make for yourself. But either way, I still think even a $100 light bar Maybe a hundred bucks is like kind of on the upper end of what I think this is worth. 130 bucks, oh, it's really nice. It's really nice, but 130 bucks seems like a lot. If I were to rate the BenQ screen bar out of five stars, this is actually kind of tough. I'm gonna give it four stars out of five. And that missing star is just because of the price. If this thing was cheaper, like I love it. I love almost everything about this light except the price. If that price isn't a problem for you, well then, okay, it's a five-star device. If your office is gonna buy this thing for you, totally get it. Um, if you have to buy it for yourself for your own space, it's, it's a lot of money, but it's a nice light. So yeah, just keep that in mind. If you are interested in checking out the BenQ screen bar, I do have links in the description down below. 
While you're down there, you can hit the like button for the video if you liked it. You can subscribe to the channel, and then I'll see you in the next Super Review.